So Dancing with the Stars, Celebrity Apprentice. When did you do that? Why did you do that? Dancing with the when Stars. I think my agent down? was worried I wasn't going to lose the baby weight after I had my daughter. Tia Carrera. I first. Carrera. It's not Carrera. Carrera. You've been having it all wrong. This all these years. I used to call it Tia Tia Car Carrera. 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 Oh. Tia Carrera. Oh. The reason why I asked you to to, um, to do the podcast here at this particular particular location is because I it think I know. Yeah, it used to be owned by Eli Sa Eli Samaha. You giving him for us now too? You giving Eli him for Samaha us? used to own this place that used to be called the Roxbury a long time ago. I remember the movie. Yeah. <laughs> And Tia was married to Ely Samaha. Mm -hmm. And um, I remember I emailed you, mm -hmm. right? And I said, hey, we're going to do it at the Pink Taco, uh -huh. which used to be Roxbury. Yep. And what did you say in the email? And I'm like, why there? Why do we have to do it there? He goes, you know why. I'm like, oh, for God's sake. Okay. So did you but I'm going to call you out. You if you start putting me on the spot, I'm going to say, Paul, I, you're being a dick. That's okay. <laughs> did you used to do cocaine right here oh. with him? No. Well, the same spot? Are these the same tables? This is the same Roxbury table? But, no. But when, where did you meet Ely? Was it at it was, the Roxbury? It was an amazing place back in the day. It was insane, yeah. It, this place, I have a photograph actually in my files of probably 2,000 people, if not more, all along the sidewalks looking up to the VIP room trying to get in. I don't yeah. see it. was like Marky Mark, because yeah. that's what he was called back in the day. Yeah. Shannon Doherty, Tori Spelling, yeah. all these guys sitting in the window right up here, and everybody down below looking up. What going, window? Oh. Wait, there's no window. There was a window upstairs. There's, oh, there's they, a they, second they, they, they floor. They ripped it out. It was no, it's up there. It's up there. It's a storage room now. So you still didn't answer the question though. Where Which, did you meet Ely, Ely? I met him in the driveway here at the nightclub. So you were waiting to get in, or you got in, or it was the grand opening party. Okay. And got I was it. getting out of my car, wow. and he had someone take a picture of me. Wow. Like, who's this girl? Find out who this wow. girl is. So he was stalking. And he, yeah. <laughs> no. Dude, when you were doing Wayne's World and you were like making out or kissing with other actors and Ely was this crazy Lebanese dude, did he get jealous and weird at the time? Because I know when we did jury duty, at the end we were, we were supposed to kiss, right? Mm -hmm. And I, most of the girls that I've been in movies with, I always put my tongue in their mouth. Oh wow! And then when you I were put afraid my tongue, to put it I put into mine? my tongue in your mouth, you like hit me. Do you remember? <laughs> you put your no, tongue in No, I don't mouth? remember hitting you. Did I hit you? Oh, yeah, you're like, what are you doing? You can't. I'm like, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> For real. Dude, yo, all I'm saying is that we've all seen movies before. Mm -hmm. Right. And we've all seen movie kisses before. Mm -hmm. We have. And most of the time, you know, there's tongue. I know every time that I've there's a lot kissed of tongue. a girl. It's prettier without tongue, though. It's prettier without it. I heard you're not allowed to do tongue anymore. Like, that's the thing in movies. It looks sloppy on camera. So they stopped tongue like in the in the, in the 90s. They stopped tongue is so five minutes ago. It's, it's, it's like so 90s. you don't tongue remember doing okay. that last scene with me and Jerry. And then hitting you. Where I where I we go to kiss and then and then I suck my tongue. I think it's time we deliberate. Oh, I commit green water. I don't remember hitting you. Can I kiss? Oh. Can I? <laughs> Can I kiss you now? No, I'm going to hit you now. Oh, <laughs> that's not cool, bro. Yes. Tia, I bumped into you um, a couple months back at the comedy store. Yes, I for your you birthday so party on the patio at the comedy store. Yeah, I hadn't seen you in so many years. And you said to me what? I said, Polly, you said one of the most insightful things as we were walking down here on Sunset Boulevard. We were walking down the street, and he goes, remember this moment because years from now, we're going to be walking down the street and whether our movies are up or down or whether we're still in the business or not, we're still going to have these faces and people are going to recognize us and what's it going to feel like then? Because like now we're on top of the world doing all this stuff, what's it going to feel like down the road? And I thought that's a very interesting uh, insight into fame and it's, it's the part where people always get wrong. And that's where you have a lot of people, a lot of the carnage in Hollywood, like people that can't handle it, that they're not at that same place in their life. But it's okay. Just allow it. Yeah. You know, like we sold our, we sold ourselves to, I don't want to say the public. Yeah. We sold ourselves to the public that will always be, you know, so how does that affect you? You know what I mean? Um, I think that's now. why I moved up to the mountains because I didn't want to have to worry about walking out of my door, taking my trash cans in and getting photographed or, mm -hmm. and being sort of grist for the mill and and just had a nice family life and mm. had a child and 
and mm. walked around barefoot and unaccessorized. I mean, here, if you walk onto the street, you have to be ready to be public property when you have a recognizable face, mm. for better or for worse. Mm. You know, you use it for your fame and fortune to get jobs, to be recognized, to get more jobs. But then the other side is they get an ugly, fat, old picture of mm, you mm, from the mm. wrong angle. Right, right. And all of a sudden, oh, they're a, they're a train wreck. They're a drug addict. Mm. They've got a problem. And it's just, it's yeah. very hard to keep that true. separate from your life. How many Wayne's Worlds did you do? Uh, two. Wayne's World 1 and 2. What about Mini Me? Did Mini Me ever try to sneak up your skirt? That's another movie. That's Austin Powers. Austin oh Powers. shit. Oh Maybe shit. Maybe you're Mike Myers straight, man. Oh shit. Sorry. I was smoking a lot of herb back then. <laughs> KTLA, you're just doing that. What were you promoting on that? I was doing my Hawaiian music on it because I like it. Well, I'm serious. Listen my two, my two Grammys are in the trunk of my car in the parking lot right there because I'm dropping it off. Been, They're going to be displaying it at an event next week. There used to be grams of cocaine here. Now there's gram, now Grammys there's Grammys in the corner. Grammys. And I'm just on Instagram, so I don't have nothing to do with any of it. So, did you sing this morning? Yeah, I sang this morning. Oh, well, sing what the fuck you sang this morning. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> all the way from uh, Pink Barrett, wait, Pink Taco. <laughs> we have Tia Canada coming from the hills of Malibu at the Pink Taco. Repainted, used to be the Roxbury. She's about to serenade the world. Give it up. Here it is. Hey, Pua, hey, Pua, hey, Pua, i mohala. Hey, Pua, hey, Pua, hey, Pua, nani. Elua, Elua. <laughs> we were in it. We were in it. I was about to put on my Thank you guys. Thank you. Getting it in.